All right, step two on putting a complete package together for your claim. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Paul Posey. Hoorah. Shout out to all my Marines out there. If you got some Army buddies, you can let them listen to this video also. So I'm not trying to, you know, divide us. You know, I think we have enough of that. Um, here's what I need you to do. I need you to call 1-800-827-1000. I need you to do that. 1-800-827-1000. Now, this is just the lowest level of getting things done. When you call that number, tell them you want to submit for your medical record. If you don't have your medical record already, you're going to contact these people, and they'll tell you how to fill out a form. I think it's an SF-86 to get your record. Um, then you'll fill it out and submit it, and they're going to mail you your military records. If they do not have your military records, you're going to ask for the form. I think you might be able to Google it. If I can find it, uh, I'll find the number and put it on the screen. If not now, maybe later, that you can create a new record. You can create a new record if they don't have your record. That means whatever the incident that happened, you can track back there that far to make it a service-connected injury. You will be able to do that, okay? So what we need right now, this is going to be a short, short video, but we need your, we need you to get your medical record. What you're going to do with your medical record when you get it, you're going to take to take it to a VFW or a DAV or a SVO and have them look at your record. Because someone's going to be there. They're going to know somebody who can look at your record and tell you what you should claim. Because it is what's in your medical record that helps things to become a service-connected injury. That's so important, service-connected injury. It needed to happen on active duty. So we're going to talk about that like this so you can understand it. If it's service connected, if it's not in there, I'll make another video about what you do for that. But for right now, these this is for the people who know what's in your medical record. You got to request your medical record, get it to somebody who's going to highlight it for you. All the things that you submit, should submit for according to your active duty medical record. That's step number two. So I need you to locate a VSO or your VFW or DAV or some veterans uh, organization in your area and have someone or someone through who's been in the military before to go through your record and says, this is what you need to claim. I see a lot of people claim one or two things. On my initial claim, I claim 23 items. Because it's not about... Well, it's the incident that makes the service connected, but it's how it affects your life now that you should make your claim out to be. How does this affect me now? I had an injury back in 1986. It was my lower back. And I had problems with my back throughout my career. And I still have it now. How it affects me now. I have trouble sitting up for long lengths of time. I have trouble walking. I have my lower back I can't even play racquetball anymore because of that injury that I sustained back in 1986 it's how the injury in your medical record affects you today and that's how you should submit it within your claim so step two locate your medical record have them mail it out to you next have someone to look at your record and highlight what needs to be uh, in your claim. So I'm going to make another video. I just wanted to, you know, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? So we're going to ease into this and uh, make sure that this is not going to be too big for you. And you can always play this video over. And you can always share it with your other friends. So let's get it done. Simplify.